Hello all, Stoic here with another Second Front gameplay video. Uh, somebody requested to see how I might approach this scenario, Abrupt Halt. That's one of the scenarios that you get in the game. So I thought I would have a look at the map and show you the processes I go through when approaching and thinking about this game and also playing it as well. I'm not going to guarantee that it'll be a tremendous victory but I hope to show the techniques that I use that uh, hopefully will help you get better when you play it. If, I s <laughs> if, I s if you see any mistakes that I make please point them out. Um, okay so abrupt halt uh, November 44 Italy uh, both sides it's American attacking uh, a German force what are the victory goals uh, so it's a victory point location we've got to capture one VP and at the moment we've got 3.7 of the enemy force and that's that's good a good ratio the, the, the scenario designer set it to 1.2 so you can adjust this in the scenario designer so <laughs> I think they're expecting us to lose a lot of people as we push in and yes this is uh, a strongly defended point where is the point here it is it's a uh, open road victory point so we can in theory drive a tank here park it there uh, and then we've won although we ha uh, the game won't give you that victory unless all uh, reinforcements have are on the table so you can rush forward and capture that but if we these haven't arrived game says you've got to wait till they've all arrived so we don't have any reinforcements but let's look at this victory point again uh, we've got a Panzer 4 here Panzer 4 H and that is behind walls and walls protect the lower hull so if I fire anything at that it's and it's it's the it doesn't hit the turret it's going to probably going to hit this wall and those are that has no effect on that vehicle so that is almost like a a pillbox, a, a reinforced uh, a strong point. That's going to be very difficult to attack. Um, and as you see, it's got a it's got a sort of wheat field in front of it. And these these uh, we can walk through them. Um, and let's look at line of sight. Yep, you can see the line of sight goes through this field, but these these really s um, reduce your firepower. It reduces the tank's firepower as well, but um, that's going to be a difficult thing to get rid of. Got some infantry here. We've got a church. Got a sniper. We've got something at the bottom. Panzer Shrek. So that's a bazooka type. It's, and look, it's a para. So these are, I think, very capable uh, uh, and uh, experienced troops. So they're going to be even harder. The bill will be very hard to get rid of. Troops there. Troops there. Troops there. Uh, LMG there, a s sort of a small squad there. <coughs> what have we got up on here? So that's a that's a Wesp, which is a self-propelled gun. 105 mil. If you see, look at top left. So that is uh, an anti-infantry, primarily gun, and that's artillery piece. So that. Let's look at the line of sight of that. Press the F key. So that <laughs> that's positioned well to cover that half of the map. In fact it can open fire this unit here on turn one. So that's a priority to get rid of. It does have a heat a sh a shell or two as you can see the purple shell. So that's an, uh, that's an effective anti-tank shell but most of them are high explosive. Uh, so that's a priority to get rid of. Uh, a mortar, 81mm mortar, so that's similar viewpoint uh, that one can fire smoke. I'm not sure whether it will. That's a sniper up there. So that's what we're conf that's what we got to what we've got to what we're confronted with. But in this uh, this scenario, uh, there are quite a lot of reinforcements for the Germans. Turn two, three para and three elite. elite. Two, so there's a lot of in a lot of infantry LMGs, Panzer Shrek's turning on turn two, on fi turn five. We've got more of these um, Volksjäger paratroopers coming in. Uh, turn two, there's a, st there's a stew 
42 so this is again is a 105 so this is an anti-infantry gun with a heat round turn four panzer three f1 so that's a uh, ah that's a flame tank so that's going to short turn a close up infantry attack as that's going to hurt so that's a, a turn four turn five a panzer four h so we've got some considerable reinforcements to deal with turn three a panzer four j from over here that's primarily anti-tank but effective anti-infantry turn three more infantry turn five a jagd panzer so that's a long 70 mil gun was it 75 mil? No, a long 75 mil gun on a uh, Panzer IV base. And look at the armour. The armour there is huge, so that is going to be hard to get well, to deal with. I think don't think our Shermans can go through that front at all. We'll have to get around the side or just ignore it. So that that's looking at the map, looking at the opposing force. But let's look, let's look at our force. We've got a lot of infantry here, poised to push across to try and capture it. Let's have a look. So, regular, it's a couple of MMGs there, that's good. Regular officer, regular, regular what, a bazooka, it's going to need that for that tank. Got three mortars here. So they are, they're 60mm mortars, so they don't have smoke. They do have quite a good, well, 50% reload. So these, so that's th three light, well, three light mortars. Um, they'll be useful for things like this infantry got an M7 so that's that's got a 105 mil gun infantry support uh, again, oops again top left it shows it's got, it's got a purple heat shell or two so if we do get a good shot at 80 uh, sorry at armor then that will we can use that or it will it will well we can use that heat uh, an anti aircraft gun but the armor on this is very thin it shouldn't really be at the front line it should be it should be somewhere like this, this, this wisp at the back. Uh, but in this one, it's it's helping the infantry up close. Maybe it doesn't know about this. Uh, more infantry, regular bazooka, regular, an injured or, or uh, this major green, an officer. It's been a low-ranking officer. Me more medium machine guns. A green squad, regular, regular, uh, a good leader in here to push forward down this road we've got a an M3 so that's a long 75 mil gun on a half track chassis so this again is a sort of a glass cannon a good gun but look at the armor virtually no armor um, protected from small arms but no no anti tank no anti tank capability um i mean i mean a, an 80 gun will slice through that uh, three veteran TNT, bazooka, another another officer down here. And what's this? This is a tank gun, our 76mm M3. But what's it doing here? Field of view is nothing. So if we expect German armour to push down here, and push this way, then that's a reasonable place to have it but they won't push in, they'll defend this area here. So this is a, I think we need to move this. We need to try and push this down the road so it can come and support our attack. Well, the, the enemy have lots of armor. What do we have? M10s, a couple of M10s, which are good anti-tank guns, 76 mil long, not much armor. Sherman type hull, so two of those and four Shermans here. First one, 105 mil. So this is this is an infantry support tank. It's it's reasonable against armor, but its main role is to support stand back and support infantry against tanks. It won't be too effective. And then one, two, three regular Shermans M4A ones with a 75 mil standard gun. This is our uh, anti tank. These are things that will be useful against tanks as well as infantry and these have got smoke if you look at top left or top right <laughs> bottom top left bottom right it's 83 percent that it that it, uh, of, of smoke so um, I think that's going to be s smoke will be useful can and just check that those can fire smoke as well but I don't think anyone else can 
So you know, putting smoke here or here or here or maybe maybe here will be useful to ease our approach. Ten turns to get forward. Okay, that's that's my thinking, and this is a, you know, a medium a medium map, so it's going to take a bit of time to uh, play the game out. So I'll probably split it into sections, um, so you can easily digest those. Okay, let's get underway. So this gun. can be pushed by its crew so if I if I move there you can see it it's got zero percent chance of pushing crazy so I need some help I need some help uh, hi veteran squad I want you to come and help me push the gun and we I, yeah we can't push it now I think because we, we've got we've them all selected we should be able to. Yeah, we've got we've got no option. So uh, we ah zero percent gun pushing. Let's try. No, failed. So this symbol here um, is uh, sort of a crossing. Failed to push. We'll try next turn. We'll try to push next turn. Okay, let's push forward. So this is a bit of a bottleneck here. Let's turn the map round. So any vehicle that's a panzer shrek there. We don't know what that is, so we've got to get rid of that Panzer Shrek first of all. Ah, so this this gun, this M3, is best standing back and firing. So I'm going to fire HE at it, and it missed. It missed. Oh, down here, 38% um, chance to hit. It's got no machine gun. That's it for this turn. So, the sniper has got good cover. This has got uh, you know, six range as well. So, we can push forward in the field. The field is, is obscured. The sniper can see everything. We, we can't get away from him. So, to approach an attack like this, we, we need uh, to provide supporting fire. We've got our MMGs, and then suppress so suppress the suppress the units, enemy units with the MMGs, uh, and then push forward those without them. So let's try that technique. MMG. Well, this we can't suppress that. We can see that. So five percent. It's now eight percent. This one, this is one that's gone, so let's try this one. Yeah, I don't think. One or two percent. Maybe that wasn't worth taking. So let's move regular squad forward. Got ten turns to get here, so we can be a bit cautious. Let's crawl that one forward. Oh. <laughs> That's a sign of things to come. Sniper. But it has fired now. It's red. We have no option. We're going to take losses. What about this one? There we are. I should have obeyed my own rule of support fire before we move. So this is 17%. So this has no this has no will have no impact against that Panzer IV, so we've got to keep using it as infantry support. So uh, a miss. So this sniper's fired now. Uh, this one hasn't. Uh, we just got. We just got to push forward. So I'll take a. Let's take a green. Uh, so this. Uh, where should we? Go? I don't want to go down the road. So let's. Let's just push to there because this is marsh. It is. Ah, three percent. Yeah, 
these guys here so it's so the Panzer Shrek can fire here so let's let's go there remember, remember the gold leaders gold stars are useful in attacking as well as rallying uh, nope I'm not going to push forward that's tried um, right so vehicles that we could <laughs> we could get there on a turn one but we wouldn't stay there for very long um, so pan that's what am I going to do so this one this 105 mil is our sort of support and I think it's going to suffice uh, provide support here so let's move it let's move it to th there if you press the space bar you get this type of view which is quite cool that's quite nice so did it maybe I should have put it somewhere to shoot at this but nope I didn't um, so that's what about these Shermans now I need something to get attack that Where can, so our Shermans are good um, vehicles to attack that I mean I can pull I, where can I get to where can I get to and get to here but now it's going to be next turn isn't it so crossing it across this bridge or or sit here and try and fire at it so let's so let's put it put it here put them here uh, this is a Sherman um, I'm going to move and stop. Then another one. Let's bring other ones to support it. Uh, another sh spring with the Sherman down the bottom. M10 it's a bit of a bottleneck here so these two vehicles are going to try and push this so let's let's what about can we see uh, yeah it's got to get across the bridge isn't it um, uh, they can fire to there and there so let me pull one to here and this is just check that fire again put that there ah look so it, it shows you in red what we can fire at but that's a zero percent chance to fire uh, next you know, moving fast lots of trees and it's sitting on a hill so I don't think it's worth firing at unless I plan to stay there I could stay there and f sort of fire at that until it you know, because the next turn will have a higher higher effect So these are going to push forward. So let's let's try that. I mean, we, we will we will sit here. Oh, gun reload. So no zero percent. But because we fired there, next turn it'll be have more be more accurate. All right. So we've got two M MMGs here. Three percent. So fire at what we can. Malfunction. It's not very good. Seventy percent chance to repair. Let's. We have to push forward. So I get fired at. Ah. <laughs> There we are. Yeah, we're, 
if they'd gone this way, well, they couldn't go that way, could we? That was, again, checking everything all the time is your best bet. But now, what can see here? That can see there. So, yeah. we've just got to crawl forward. We've got to move forward, pinned. So that's gone to yellow. Keeping them separate. Is that going to fire again? Nope. Pass. So this is one of our. This is a bazooka. So let's roll it forward. I mean, one, two, one percent, two percent. Got the mortars to bring up. So regular. I'm not going to go too far because we've got 10 turns to get here and we've got our support arriving. Oop. So I think waiting for our, s our fire support. So a few, sort of two or three turns of these firing at these, uh, like the sniper, will be helpful, I think. Because we, we have no reinforcements, no infantry reinforcements. This is red, so that's not going to fire. But like, you know, you know, these can, these can see. What can see this? Yeah, the sniper can see those if if we go to here. But let me let me spread those out. They are running, but. Next turn, we can fire at that. They can fire at. Um, okay, I think that might be turn one for us. We've got a regular squad here. Now I don't know why they provided these these leaders here with with their sort of negative because they've they negatively impact our squads they're with. Where should we put him? Let's put him there. And it's a half squad as well. I think. Do I need to spread anything out? Um, uh, let's spread things out a bit. I think that'll do. Let's see what. Um, <laughs> first phase of the first turn. Fire phase two. So they've got two things that can fire. This. This fired. Uh, here we go. So I had one reload. Again, it's firing at us in the woods, and the wood um, um, mortars are effective in woods. That's. Fortunate for us, gun malfunction on the first turn. Advance phase. So we can advance forward. They don't fire at us in this phase. But we don't have to, uh, because if we advance the next turn, it'll be the Germans, and they will they will have their. F uh, so I tend not to advance into somewhere where they can fire at. Is it worth fire, um, advancing here? I mean... This gun is out of action which changes things a bit. And this sniper can shoot us. Nope, let's wait for the fire support. Although we know that mortar's got us, is firing at us, so I'm going to move one one guy, one squad out of this because they're firing at that the mortar arm. Yep, 
Leave it at that. They didn't uh, fix that gun, which is good. And medium machine gun wasn't repaired. Okay, move and fire. What will they do? One reload again. Two misses. Misses. Three reloads. Nasty. We need our support to come up quickly. Uh, they're pulling back a bit. That's good. That's unusual. They're pulling back. They're being cautious. Um, the computer decided to automatically fire one of our mortars at something it saw moving. didn't expect the tank to give up its position there that was a very secure safe position Maybe, but the AI decided he wanted to get out WESP had good fire so we need to get rid of this but that's our plan with these Shermans fire phase so we've got lots that can fire <laughs> okay so three percent so it's going up but I could smoke it but I want to save that for another object like here it's closer closer to it that's a miss m10 we can if we turn the turret here what are the chances of why is it showing that red can't see it because hey, it's on the top floor eight percent I mean, I'm going to take it. It's not 2%, it's 8%. Oh, that's a miss. So what have we got down here? So they, they pulled back, which is strange. <laughs> I suppose this gun, what can this gun fire? 3%. I, there we are, pin. I tend to fire infantry at low percentages like that because they don't they don't have any any gun jam so this one can't fire because he, the computer fired it over here this 105 can fire so 28% chance this is a miss no reload oh but it's got a uh, it's got its machine gun to fire miss twenty four percent that's two two MMGs <laughs> it's kind of giving him a headache mortar so yep we moved forward to be able to there we are, two reloads some people like to <laughs> click to get two more two shells in the air miss 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 uh, we can continue to pound them or we can use this one to fire at that 17 don't know 58 I think there's enough firing at that isn't there I'm doing that. Um, 17 let's fire use this to cover the top side if you see it was 17 then 24 and that's 42 because if we keep because it um, keeps going up. Okay, fire phase. Got one more somewhere, which is this one here, which is. Oh, 
thought I'd fired that. Maybe there's a rifle fire. Um, both phase, escape phase. Oh, yeah, our attack up here is not going very well. Look at that. That's it's these it's these guns over here, isn't it? We need to get them get rid of the, get rid of them. It's their advance phase. <laughs> so that mortar made them move out of there, I think. Changed floor, changed floor to the orange floor. Concealed. We don't know what we don't know what they are. These are thinking about it. End of turn one. Turn two. So this goes down to nine. So what are our priorities? So we know where's the vehicle that's firing at the west. Oh, we hadn't got anything yet, had we? We hadn't got anything on the west at the moment. It's these ones here. It's the Shermans that are doing that. So, where can we put them? I'm going to put one there. And it's going to be. Ah. Oh, Yes, three. It's going to be terrible, but we have to start somewhere. Um, where can it reach? guys come on ah I see if when I first click it just those just those two are selected but I have to additionally select that two percent ah no not two percent it's seventeen percent isn't it so pushing it over pushing it over the package there is no no percent so let's push it this way try to push it this way uh, again, oh, if I double click it, there we are. Push. Oh. <laughs> it's truly stuck in the mud or the wheat. Okay, so these pulled back here. So uh, we can pull our, we've got a tank there, haven't we? And with the engine on, uh, we can pull this to here. That's a lovely shot, lovely uh, avenue to fire on on these. But this one here has got a Panzer Shrek, and what's the Panzer Shrek? So it's four range. So one, two, three, four. So I put my gun here. It is going. To, well, I put my support gun here. It's going to be attacked by them. So where could I? Could I put it here? One, two, three, four. I could put it here, and it can fire at them, and it couldn't fire at us, which which should I do? This is open top, isn't it? So, so again, we're looking for optimal location. So it does slow the game down, but just rushing forward without checking what's best means you have you know, less chance of winning. So that is the, the Panzer Shrek is on that floor. So it can see here, but that's five away. So I'm going to put it just over the, put the Sherman just over the bridge, and stop it. 
Hopefully that's right. One, two, three, four. Yes, so we can fire at the hopefully Panzer Shrek. Oh, select the units. Zero percent. But that's uh, this Panzer Shrek is stopping us pushing forwards. I don't think this we can use that this turn. See that? Okay, we can use it at the steeple. So let's do that. Let's push. Let's put that there. Fire out the sniper. Again, it's zero chance, but it'll be better next time. Other. So before we advance, let's fire all our support weapons. 3%. That's a yeah, that's not good, is it? It's not 8%. That's interesting. So that all the you can see all the forest here is getting in is making this go very low. So maybe I need to move further further forward. So there's all these forests and all these forests. Let's perhaps have a look at overhead there. So, line of sight somewhere here, maybe. Let's put it there. Oh, I can hit the wasp as well. Hmm. So this is a good anti-tank gun. So let's let's prioritise that. I know we've got two Shermans firing at it, but uh, zero, eight. <sighs> Miss. Okay. We had this firing. Here, so these are uh, twenty eight percent at four seventeen. Okay, so this is in a uh, strange at twenty twenty eight percent seventeen. So I think I'm gonna fire here. Reload, please. Nope. Water. No, it's fire. MMGs. Okay, so that's twenty-four percent. Those two MMGs. So that's 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 reasonable. But of course, we miss. And notice the leader, the golden leader, was gold star, was giving us a leader bonus there. So having that gold star in there helps. Other M10, 17%. Now, I don't think this snipe is a big threat to us. It's a long way away. But this is a threat to us. Its gun is. You know, you know. We can close combat tanks if we move an infantry unit on into it. But pushing an infantry unit across here. For, uh, these are these can fire at us. Forty-two. It's. Yeah, I don't want to use that against that tank because. No. Because it's ineffective. <laughs> Forty-two percent chance miss. So 83% chance to hit, but because it's such a low odds because it's in the building, but these are 8% to hit and 26. Okay, 
I'm going to fire at these because these are in the open. Nope. Water. 58.2. Lots of choices. A lead well there's a leader in there but it's not recovered do I, have, do I have a leader I can pull up there gold there's three gold leaders down the bottom and none at the top I could crawl forward but it's not going to work Bit of a bottleneck at the bridge. Okay, let's tr think about. I've got a bazooka in here, but he's 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 um not going anywhere at the moment. So this bazooka was going to go forward to the tank here, but let's push it forward this way t to try and counter that tank. Their sniper hasn't fired. It has fired, broken weakness. So in a way, we are <laughs> we are using our green uh, inexperienced troops to, as a sh as a shield. Really, is not ethical in some ways. Um, yeah, I've got a gold leader here. A gold leader here. Do I bring that up the top? Yes, as you see, it's susceptible to fire. I've already got one gold leader here, so I'm going to get my gold leader at the top. You're pushing forward. Now I've got veteran TNT bazooka. Now, because of the bottleneck here, I'm going to I'm going to try and uh, take that chance. Seven, Seventeen percent. Got a gun reload. Pinned. Regular troop. Whatever it goes is going to get fired at. Let's leave it there then. Right, this Sherman. Could push it round here. We've got this. Uh, um, so to fire at something, it's got to get across. It's got to get over here. And this is in the way. We've got this as well. Uh, let's. This can't fire its gun at me. These may have Panzer Shreks and Bazooka, so let's uh, right, if I look at this is Bacage. <coughs> so these are the raised uh, hedgerows that's in the in, in Normandy, which shielded tanks, so we well, well Made it very difficult. Made, made it difficult for tanks to advance. But if I go here, I can see that it's going to be a low shot. But let's. Are we going to be vulnerable to the west up there? We are. Oh, I'm going to risk it. This is a bit 
This is a bit rash, but uh, out of heat. So that took its uh, fired its in fact one heat high explosive anti tank shell and missed. Thank heavens. So it's only got high explosive left. So here we are, fired eight percent to hit, sixty eight and zero because of Bacar. So let's let's try. No. And we've got three of the machine guns. Turn the turret. Uh, turn the turret back. We've got to move forward. Any more support weapons? Yeah, there's no more support weapons, are there? So let's push forward. Got a bazooka. So here's a bazooka guy. Now where, what line is side? We've got to get to here. To, but I'm going to crawl him forward. Well, that shows I was wrong. That shows that if I were the bazooka was here, it could see the tank. Ugh, that was a mistake. I'll crawl it forward to here next turn and fire. It's just, yeah, tough. It's very difficult to advance. fire anything? No. Okay. Quick check. You now these you know, look at all the yellow. That's not worth it. All the uh, all the red show they can't do anything more. Yellow shows they can potentially. Well, you show they can fire. Green shows they've done nothing. But I'm not going to remove that. There any more greens that? Um, Oh, didn't fire, it. didn't fire the gun. Of course, no effect. I think that's it. So, fire phase. Uh, what was that? Something fired at that twice. Three. Three times and killed it. So there's something as an anti tank. This is um. Oh. Brutal. So some anti tank gun up there is has taken out my tank. Attack up north being crushed. Fleeing unit sniped. Okay, so we can press so this so an, an anti-tank gun somewhere has hit this behind Bacage, of course. Um, if you press escape and scenario, we didn't do this on the way in. Look, it does it does show you. This is all the units. So there's somewhere there's a fifty, a 50 mil pack thirty eight hidden. So somewhere in the line of sight. Where is it going to be? Most likely there, I would think. Because that, that can be seen. That's, that's the most. It's not going to be in here because we would see it otherwise. 
to be hidden it's got to be in some sort of uh, woods or trees so there's an anti-tank gun there okay Advan advance phase what do we want to advance I mean we can move these forward to there we haven't oh yeah. move those forward Maybe I can push this. Maybe I can. Yes, yes, let's get this to support around here. So, work gun failed on the Panzer IV, which is good for us. Reinforcements, just what we need for the for, yeah, for the enemy at mortar. So you, we really need our supporting tanks to deal with the west and, and the mortar. Brutal. German did some defensive fire. Well done. So the computer controls this uh, our well, some of our fire in the enemy turn when it thinks there's a good shot Stu 42 so oh. wonderful Fire phase, 16 units to fire. So the green is showing where, let me just take the, use the tab key, so, what was I firing at? So it's saying I was showing at it was f yeah firing at the powers and they're pinned at twenty eight percent. But if I fire at the the sniper, can't I see the sniper? Ah, the Panzer Shrek. Has that gone onto the ground floor? Can't I can't tell. All ah, right, there we are. It's twenty eight percent. It's both it's both the same, forty percent. For me, the Panzer Shrek is the most Some things can only fire at It's a broken okay, the sniper's broken, that's means it's gonna run. But what else can I fire at? Nothing can fire at those. Oh just the eight just the AA gun. Let's fire at those. Anti-aircraft guns malfunctioned. Super mortar. Now that sniper is broken, it's going to run away. So let's try another target. Try that. So th these were harder to hit, but 
more likely to get an effect. Broken. No run away. Let's try that. Change target. No. Twenty-eight percent uh, gun reload. Ah, wounded and broken. That's cool. So for us, um, let's leave it at that, because it may. Right. <laughs> Seventy percent to hit. Ninety-seven percent to go through the armor. Of course, we miss. Fifty-seven percent to hit. And ninety seven per cent. Wow. So it is a game of percentages, and you're going to miss some of them. But this is, you know, you, you stack the odds in your favour. You have multiple chances to fire at a target. So that is a big victory. So the green the green hex is showing that's what we fired at last time, but let's fire. Nope. Nope. Water. So this is broken, it's gonna run away, so it's just a small chance. Water. Water reload, good. <sighs> well, our attack up north is falling apart in terms of infantry, but you know we need to get this infantry down here German advance <laughs> got fed up of being watered and moved into the building is the end of turn two. That's taken us about an hour. Uh, so I think I will end this video here. Let's have a look at our so gun failed, the Panzer IV gun failed. We had some uh, our guns failing. So we've got this tackle, still gun failed. This is a new threat to us. Uh, the Panzer Shrek is still there. If it wasn't there, I could push around with this. I still might. So I've got to, I've got to suppress this Panzer Shrek and push around here to get that stew in the side. Uh, that would be a good win. But next episode, next time. I hope that was helpful. Thanks all. Bye bye.